and so we're gonna roll we're gonna roll that that sound clip um, and uh, and this is submitted by a user so uh, let's let's kick it off right now the big bad bim tip of the week so ironically uh, or coincidentally I should say uh, this segment is sponsored by Enscape and so normally I would go through the process of, of telling you guys all about what Enscape is but we're gonna go through that for an hour so um, if you're interested uh, throughout this entire episode um, head on over to enscape.bimafterdark.com get a 14-day free trial jump in and start today I promise you it's worth it Dan um, I apologize I don't have your last name but you'll remember once I show you this tip <laughs> and shoot me an email let me know and I'll send you a t-shirt this tip has to do with stacked walls anyone who's familiar with stacked walls knows Knows they're a nightmare. Uh, what is a stacked wall? It is uh, multiple walls stacked on top of each other. And so here's a stacked wall. If I go to edit type and I go into structure, you'll see it's actually two different wall types stacked on top of each other. So they have their purposes, but they can be a pain in the butt. I have two stacked walls right here. So the tip that Dan had is something I actually completely forgot about until recently. When you build a stacked wall, once you're done building it, if you right click the stacked wall, you can actually click where it says break up. And what does that do? That actually breaks it into three or four or two, however many individual walls, and it maintains all of their instance and level parameters, which is pretty freaking awesome. So Dan, thanks for submitting that. I was just sitting there and thinking about it. Where could this be kind of useful? And a perfect example is right here. This is a, a, a residential typical condition where you've got a 12 inch foundation wall. Uh, you got a, a six inch stud. And so you can just you can just sit there and you can you can draw your exterior walls however you want. And then once you're done, you can simply click your walls, right click and break up. And now you have a foundation wall and a stud wall. Pretty cool. I thought it was pretty neat. <laughs> uh, and so thank you, uh, Dan, for the tip. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I completely forgot that that even existed. So thanks for reminding me. And Dan, shoot me an email. So if you have a tip that you want to share with the audience and you want a free t-shirt, uh, feel free to shoot me an email, jeff at therevitkid.com.